foot across. Oh. Pull myself up more. All right, welcome back. So, I have Bird again, and this time we're gonna go hostage. over. Yes, he is hostage. Um, Andrew's hostage too, but he's, I don't know, jerking off. But, <laughs> so, uh, today we're gonna go over the ankle locks, Bird's ankle lock system, and um, if you've seen any of his matches, he always gets them in like the first 30 seconds. Um, you know, some people have called me the seven second Bird. I'm like, please don't. That <laughs> <laughs> Anyways. So we're gonna go ahead and jump right into this, and uh, yeah. So first, put me in an ankle lock. Show me how you're doing it first. Like you don't have to talk about it. You can just do it, and I'll point out the details that can be done better. Okay. Man, you're already doing some shit. <laughs> So he does, he didn't say it, but I've already worked with him. I on have. Several. We have already done some of this stuff, but just go over it again. Yep. So, so the things you're doing actually really well is you have good placement with the laying hook. You have foot on the hip, and you're actually digging your heel in, so it's hard for me to get this across. Okay. You have the what I consider the optimal grip, but you can also do it a little tighter by actually flexing that wrist. Okay. So that way you get more elbow butt. Okay. That's that's just grip stuff. Um, how you're pressuring it will get me to tap. But you can do it a lot tighter by actually pulling this apart to separate it. So, so when you're in here, take your elbow, pinch it in. Never rest your elbow on the mat. So now try and with your elbow and your forearm, try and pull and separate my heel. Like that? Yep. Now any outwards pressure would probably pop my ankle right now. Um, that is one of the most important concepts to ankle locks. You're not just trying to bend this. You, you'll fight people that have stretchy tendons and you can't tap them. You have to make the tendons taut by pulling and separating it to break everything. Okay. So this applies for any footlock in the world. Go down. This is, with this concept in mind, I don't care what attachments I have as long as I can push him away. And as long as I can isolate the heel and up here. I'm not good at names. <laughs> the gripping doesn't matter, but the Kamara grip is really good about isolation, especially on these weirdo ones. And I'm actually gonna, doesn't look like I'm doing anything, but what I'm doing is I'm tightening everything, pulling it out. And then so you're pulling up. it, okay, so you're pulling it out before you even yep. like crank I'm just on it. Separating this first, making everything taut, and then I'm separating. So right there, you moved your shoulder mm -hmm. without moving my heel. Tighten everything up. Now try and retract it with, yeah. Okay. You feel how this is different? Yeah. Doing all this doesn't do anything. Mm -hmm. Going here. Yeah, that's tight. Okay. So now apply that concept with the traditional one. On top of everything you already know. Tap. Oh wow, I didn't even crank on it. No, that's the thing. In practice and when I'm teaching this anymore, I can't do 100% pressure. Mm -hmm. The entries are very safe and secure because I can just pull myself underneath you as hard as I can and in one motion, go for the foot lock and break. Okay. And I'm not trying to finish a foot lock there until you're falling and then I'm switching. Okay. Or. As you fall and you hit the ground, I'm going to be making those adjustments to have it tight so that as you're getting your bearings, now I'm breaking it. Okay. So I'll slow it down. So this foot can't be on the mat. I have to be able to be on the inside of this and pull myself through. And so this arm, this leg, I'm really just shooting myself through as hard as I can. At the same time, I'm pulling myself with this and I'm just going to grab the calf. This is... Uh, Good grip for later. I never lock it up unless I absolutely have to or I things up. Do you avoid the knee slice? When uh, I'll you get to that up. first. I'll yeah, yeah, yeah. So I'm pulling myself in, shooting this through all the way underneath you. My foot touches. This is already retracting. I'm lifting myself up, stepping off of this, picking it up, rotating, pulling it out. Okay. 
Now, as you're landing, because I have this cap, I can go backwards into my good grip. Okay. Let's try. One more time. So like right here, I'm not grabbing the cap anymore. And I'm just holding this flirt out. What I'm gonna do to adjust that is I'm actually gonna go this way, push the mat, lift my hips up, and now there's space for me to grab it. Yeah. That's and that would take me 0.1 seconds. Mm -hmm. That's if their hip is high. All right. Now, if I know they wanna, yeah, that's a lot more dangerous. Mm -hmm. Now I actually have to respect any underhooks you go for. Okay. So if I wanted to do the same style, if I reach out of here and you grab and you knee slice me, I'm an idiot. Oh no. One of the things I can do is just play actual shin on shin, grab here. But now I'm gonna be lifting up here. But the problem with this is I'm not coming in with momentum. I don't have a good angle. Your hips are heavy. Even if I switch to here, you're loaded up this way. And I'm not in the best spot for the sweep. So what I would do here is actually switch to single leg X. You okay? Yeah, yeah, yeah. There's <laughs> pinching. That's good. So I'm here. If I want to still knock you over, I'm actually going to switch this up to your stomach. Now I'm going to lift with this, push you away, and I'm going to pull this out while I pull. <laughs> so I'm trying to lift. I'm trying to do a broomstick sweep from okay. single leg X. Like, this one's fun. Go ahead. If I can jam this knee underneath there, I have a foot lock. Oh, I see. And because foot locks are so broken now, I can finish it from here just by... Oh, shit, yeah. That was crazy. I'll show you that concept in a second. So let's say I just can't finish the guy. He's too tough. So there's two options I can really go for here. I can just try and bail and wrestle up, or I can do, I can go directly to side control. So the wrestle up is I'm on my side here, trying to fish it, can't, so I have to get this foot in. And I just have to come up with it. Uh, it's very straightforward. I'm just trying to get out of the position. But the cool version is, I'm gonna take this foot across hook, pull myself up. Oh wow. I've actually hit this in tournaments, it's freaking hilarious. <laughs> So I'm trying to finish this. I'm gonna take this foot through, hook here. And I'm gonna pull myself in until my knee touches. And now that's gonna hook, pull myself up more. Hmm. Yes, uh, when you escape the foot losses as they're putting it in, because the boot doesn't work anymore. Yeah, so this would be. So if I'm here and I'm in this and you're booting, I don't care anymore. Mm -hmm. I'm just going to break your ankle. <laughs> the concept of separation causes your foot to bend, and now I'm popping it that way. Okay. So I don't care if it boots. So that's no longer, in my eyes, a valid option. It, it will get you out of a lot of them, but I might still break you. <laughs> so when you're putting me in a foot lock, I can't let you control my knee. Mm -hmm. Most of the people that get out... That's it. Yeah. They just full do a barrel roll. Okay. So, or as you're putting it in, like now that you have it isolated, that is how I'm going to get out of it. Mm -hmm. If I can turn my angle here, mm -hmm. I'm threat. I'm in danger of a back chase, but I'm not in danger of an ankle lock. Mm -hmm. So, if I can ever also retract out while you're putting it in, see so now it's too late to do that. Okay. Like from right here. Just barrel roll and turn out. As I'm ripping this out. Okay. But I obviously have to do that before they really get any good control. Well, it's the knee that matters. I can have really, really good control of this, but if you just spin out and change the angle, now I can't finish you. Okay. I might chase your back, but you're not getting tapped. So when you're going for ankle locks, I try and get control of this as fast as I can. Okay. I don't care how I control it anymore. Mm -hmm. I just need to stop that bitch from turning. So when you say turning, like, like that spin out. Okay, so the knee, the if knee I, has to, if, if my knee goes this way. I can still finish it. 
Because I can't, I have enough to stop you from spinning. Okay. If I'm here and you spin out, I don't have enough. Okay. But if I have any block here and you try and spin, yeah. I'll still finish it. Okay. Um, what about the what about the standard single single? Like, could I escape that one using that method? Oh. Yeah. I mean, you still have to deal with reach, but yeah. <laughs> All right, so now that you guys have seen me and Bird play with our feet for the last 20 minutes, um, I hope they don't have foot fetishes. <laughs> uh, some people probably do. Um, <laughs> so, all right, guys, thank you guys for watching, um, and I'll see you in the next one.